This is from the packet I posted. It's a, a video on slope. It's one of the pages in the packet. It's actually page four in the packet. So if you notice right here, there's two different ways I found the slope. Uh, one is to do the rise over run. So this Y value is two and this is five. And this line is rising from uh, left to right. So it's positive slope, it's a two fifths. Or the second way I could do this is find the points that are on this line. Four, four is one of the points and negative one, two is another point. And then use the slope formula. So the Y values four minus two is two and then four minus negative one is five. So two fifths. And then for point B, this point right here is one negative three. And this point over here is one, two, three, four, negative four. And one, two, three, four, five, negative five. And then if I find the slope of that line, so slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And then subtracting the y values here would be negative 3 minus negative 5 over... Um, the x values, which would be 1 minus a negative 4. So you get 2 fifths again. So either way, I'd do it, either rise over run or finding the points. Uh, I get the same slope. And then for line C, uh, this point right here is a negative one, one, two, three, four, five. So negative one, five. And this other point on line C is one, two, three, negative one. So for the slope of line C, you're going to do the Y values, negative 1 minus 5, and then 3 minus negative 1, which is negative 6 over 4 is negative three halves. So the way I did it visually is six, uh, the rise is six and the run is four, but uh, this line uh, decreases from left to right. So if I go from left to right, this line is going downward. So it's a negative slope. The first way I found uh, the slope of line D is the rise is four, and the run is six, so four over six is two thirds. And then if I did this point right here to the right, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, one. So this point right here. And this point is one, two, three. One, two, three, zero, negative three. And my pen is having a problem writing here. So zero. And let me type it. <laughs> So this point here 
is 0, negative 3. And the other point that's there is three, four, five, six, one. So the slope. See if I can get my pen to work here. So the slope, there we go, is the y value is 1 minus negative 3 over 6 minus 0. So I get 4 over 6, which is 2 thirds. And so you see that those are perpendicular and then they have uh, negative reciprocal slopes. So if I go down here, scroll down, Let me scroll down here. So parallel lines have the same slope and perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slopes. So let me go ahead and look at page seven and eight also here. So It was four right here, five, six, seven. Let's look at page seven. And uh, these lines here, once again, I can do this two different ways. Uh, this right, right here should say negative one half also. This should also be negative one half. So both of these uh, lines are the rise is three and the run is six. So three over six. But since this is falling from left to right, it's a negatively sloped line, negative one half. Or the second way I can do it. I'm not going to do every single one this way, but just to show you one of these. So one, two, three, four. So this. One, two, three, four, negative four. And. Let me uh, type it again. Uh. 